Hello guys and welcome back. This time I'm back with a specific video just for low comments. I have a full video on how to use the bot, um, but a lot of people have been struggling. Um, I did not explain exactly everything. I went through everything quick because the video was too long. So this time I'm here just for the raw command and I'll try to explain it really good and make it as easy as possible. So the first thing you want to do is I guess invite the bot to your server. After that you go to your server, you go to the server settings and then you go to roles. Make sure the bot role is on top move it to the top then save and then create your roles i have already created uh, three roles straight bi and gay i'll be demonstrating the role command on these ones now after you create your roles all the roles you want to create you go back to the website now the first thing you want to do is to create a group what a group is, it's basically the mother of the roles. It will hold the sub roles like straight, gay, and bi. So, straight, gay, and bi are gender, or at least that's what I call them. That's what I know they're called. So, my group is going to be called gender. And then you choose either single or multiple. Single means you can only choose one role, react to only one. Multiple means you can react to two or more roles. In this case, I'll choose single because you can only choose one gender, um, or at least from my point of view. Now, required roles means I have like three roles here. If you want someone to have a specific role first for them to be able to react on this role before they can react, you can choose that from here. I'm not going to do that. And if you want to ignore roles like People with a specific role will not get any roles if they react. You can choose them from here. Now, for the boxes, the first one means that you need at least one role. Doesn't matter what role it is. Um, maybe a role you give them on join, a role when they reach a specific level. I don't know, but at least one role. You cannot decide here, but like at least any role you have at all times. You need to have one role at least for them to choose a role. Now, I'm not going to choose this, but I'm going to tick this box because in this case, if let's say I chose straight and then I reacted again on bi or gay, what this will basically do, it will remove the first role and give me the other role. So in this case, you can change between roles and you still have only one role, not more. So now we have the gender. We add the group. All right, now we're done. We could have done something. Um, yeah, basically, first, yeah, never mind, never mind. Now, after you do the gender thing, you go and add a command. This is to manually assign, but you need to do this step. So I'll start with straight, and I'll choose the straight role, and I'll put it in the gender group. Now, again, requires roles, ignore roles. We're not going to do this. You basically add the straight here. Now we're done. The second one is by. I'll choose the role, bisexual, and choose the group, gender. I add this one. And then you basically add all the uh, roles you want to add within this group. I only have three. You can also make an age group, for example. And add whatever age you want people to react to and so on games I don't know anything you want basically I'm just going to demonstrate one group and basically the rest are the same now as you can see here this is everything here you can delete the group but the roles will not get deleted you can delete role by role maybe you added one by mistake and something here is like to move up or down what this basically does is, when you create the reaction menu, the order here will be the same order in the other place in the reaction menu. So if you have gay here first, you'll have gay there first. If you move one of them up, you'll basically have the same order. So now, after we're done here, you go back to your server. 
So now when you're in your server, you choose the channel you basically want to do the menu in. I created a specific channel for this. And then what you're gonna use is the default command. It's called role menu. And then you're gonna get the role group name. We call it the group name gender. So here we go. Now, as you can see, role menu setting up, role menu setup. Now here it asks it asks you to react with the emoji for the role command gay on this message. So for gay on this message, I'm gonna react with G. Now I see here something usually people um, do wrong and is reacting here. Now it asks you to react on the buy. So what people usually do, they react here and nothing happens. And then they complain and they say the bot is not working or what I do wrong. As you can see, it asks you to react on the original message, which means you have to react beside the G right here. So for by, we're gonna go with B. As you can see, there we go. And then for straight, the same message again, we go with S. Now, as you can see, done setting up. So we have to clean up this mess here. Yeah, because it does not clean up itself, unfortunately. Maybe in the future, we clean up this mess. And what I like to do is I edit my first, um, my first message. And for example, I say react below to receive. There we go again. Thank you, Discord. To receive a gender role only one row allowed let's say arrow down for example so you make it look nice for example and you can do the same with the rest um now basically that's it of course i'm not gonna get any rows right now uh, never mind this is an old role it's not because of this i forgot to remove it you don't get any rows it's just for the setup you basically remove these and now if I say I'm gonna choose straight, I'm gonna get a message from the bot says give you the role, you go back here, you check here, and I have straight. Now if let's say I chose another one, I get the message again and it gives me the role, but if you check here, it removed my first one and gave me just the buy role because this is what we checked what we tick the box in the website. Unfortunately now, if you unreact, the role is not removed. You have to react again for it to get removed. So basically the first reaction will give you the role, the second reaction will remove the role, and so on. Um, maybe in the future it will be remade and because it has already been made and it's really hard to rewrite the whole code I believe but probably in the future you'll be able to um, do something like that anyways that's kinda it for now I believe you do the same again you do the cycle again for every group you want and every role and so on thank you for watching if there's anything more you would like to see leave a comment below don't like to give it this a thumbs up and subscribe Ciao.